Hey everyone, my name is Silas and I'm from the Dreamweaver team. Uh, I'm here to showcase how we can create a responsive web page um, using Dreamweaver quickly and efficiently. And uh, this is this can be done using the Fluid Grid feature, which uh, has had major improvements. And these improvements are there in the latest update, uh, which we released uh, on 14th of Feb, Valentine's Day. So. Uh, let's look at what uh, we have changed. The first thing uh, which was a major problem was we uh, users were not able to manipulate nested elements. So so uh, I have a section out here and uh, if I want to access elements inside I am able to do that and uh, I'm using the keyboard out here uh, with the left and uh, right arrow key. So that's the first thing. The other thing is we implemented support for classes. So if you have layout elements which are similar, you can use classes. And we also have these quick um, uh, heads up display options uh, like you can hide uh, an element, you can duplicate, you can delete, and you can actually uh, swap the elements as well uh, in terms of uh, your HTML. So uh, before we start with the demo, let's look at what uh, I've created. and. Um, so this is a responsive web page and uh, this is totally uh, completely created using the fluid grid feature and uh, this is the desktop size if I go on to squeeze it down it will go on to our uh, tablet and then the mobile so um, so not a lot of coding uh, done in terms of the layout the layout was totally manipulated and you know created using the fluid grid uh, design surface so what we'll do is we'll try to create uh, this and then I'll showcase how we can quickly change you know design elements in terms of layout so uh, we have um, to create a new responsive web page you click on file new and uh, new fluid grid layout and you have this document new document window uh, here you get options for mobile, tablet, and desktop, and uh, you can configure your responsive web page in terms of uh, the number of grids which you want to use: four, eight, twelve for the desktop, and the gutter width and uh, the container of the the grid itself, the grid container. And we have also changed uh, the doc type to HTML5. So I'll go ahead and create it. So now Dreamweaver will tell you to. Um, save a CSS file so this CSS file is going to contain all your media queries and anything to do with layout and styles in this particular CSS file so I'll name it respond and and I'll just go ahead and save this file as well right so so one thing which I again want to mention if you do not know that we include boilerplate.css uh, along with our fluid grid page which is a quite popular front-end uh, template for HTML and CSS and uh, for CSS in our case and we also include a polyfill called respond.js which lets you uh, lets users you know fall back to JavaScript in terms of uh, various widths and sizes so so the first thing which I want to showcase uh, in terms of the framework itself the framework is just you know two media queries which are one is for tablet size which is at a min width 481 and a min width 769 for desktop and we have a grid container for each one of them and uh, the major change what we have what we have done is uh, we've added a fluid class so the fluid class contains all the properties which make a particular element fluid in terms of dreamweaver and uh, we do not add any of the properties um, to the actual selector unless you start uh, changing the width or applying design changes on the surface so 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 we basically add on the properties which are only actually required and the changes which you have committed uh, to show on your layout so that the lines of code are much more lesser uh, than than what it was uh, originally because we used to have all those five properties in each of those uh, elements so 
we'll just delete that and uh, we'll what I want to do is I, I want to create this top header portion um, and let's see how we can do that so I'll just remove this and uh, I also want to sh show you that we now have support for all HTML5 structural elements uh, like the header paragraph navigation aside all these things are there so in this example I want to add a header and uh, if I want I, I, I do not need to add a class or an ID so uh, but if I if I want the visual uh, you know the, the overlay on top uh, I need to use classes or ID so in, in my case I want to use a header and uh, so inside the header I want to again add uh, edge group uh, basically this is for the logo of the web page and I'll just add that and inside this I'll just type in an h1 tag and type in the text so after this what I want to do is add a quick link so this is this is the link which I'm talking about the quick links so I'll just add that and uh, we can also add a paragraph and these are also ca these can also be changed uh, you know not only um, layout elements but paragraph and h1 elements could be manipulated so I'll just name this quick link and inside the quick link I'll just add some content and uh, for my demo I've stored um, all my content in the snippets folder so these are demo snippets inside that I have these various snippets so I want to add uh, the quick link so I'll just add the quick link and I also need to add a certain CSS uh, which basically defines uh, styles for my web page so I'll just go ahead and add that right so so I have these two elements after this we need to create the the drop down menu which we have out here so let's go ahead and create that so all these elements are inside the header um, itself and uh, I'll just go ahead and create um, a div and call it search form and inside the search form I want to add the select menu again we'll go on to our snippets and copy the code right so we have the search form and now we need the search box as well so I'll just click on the search box insert the div and uh, let's copy some more code from the snippets uh, the search right so the next thing obviously is to create uh, links and I want to use an unordered list so we just name it top nav and inside this we will add a list item so we'll call it links and inside the links again I want to add uh, a, an anchor tag Right, so so we, we've somewhat created a header section and let's see how um, Dreamweaver helps us to uh, optimize uh, this in terms of layout so what I want to do is I want to actually work on the desktop uh, layout and uh, click I'll just click on live view uh, because live view has has the actual uh, rendering so it's always better to use fluid grids in live view so the first thing which I want to do is I want to actually duplicate uh, these elements um, there seems to be some issue duplicating and showing it in live view but you can always do that in design so you have one two three four five six all right six links and we might want to change the links just to show just to show how different they look so I'll just add a services link out here and add an about link 
Right, so let's go on to live view. So the first thing which I want to show, showcase is uh, you can actually swap these elements. So let's suppose if you want services on the top, you just have to click these uh, arrows up and down and you can do that. And so let's try to create uh, the layout. So what I want to do is um, when I, on the, on the right is uh, change of width and on the left is shifting the margin. Right, so these are two important things to remember and so I'll just go ahead and you know, squeeze it to a certain level and I want the links also to go up and the drop down also needs to go up in the side for the desktop because they all need to be aligned side by side and uh, so we'll just decrease the size for this as well so that we can fit in the search box so. alright so that's um, the header section and um, we want all these uh, links to be aligned side by side so since these are classes any changes which I make would be propagated to to these and so I'll just move this upper row and uh, apply a zero margin class for the first one so that's how we can align uh, items out here so again in this uh, tablet view we can make the same changes so uh, I'll move on to a page where I have most of the stuff uh, working for the desktop but uh, for uh, for the tablet I need to make some changes so the first thing is I do not want quick links uh, for my tablet so I'll just remove that and uh, shift my drop down out here and I also do not want my links because I expect users to use the drop down for my tablet view instead of having uh, these big links so I can just go ahead and delete them and moving down these look okay but these are not aligned properly so what I want to do is I want to squeeze them a bit and basically have them four column by four column so these are aligned side by side and again I want to apply zero margin uh, so automatically uh, these changes are made um, so one more thing which I wanted to show is um, we also have um, absolutely positioned elements so these can also be uh, manipulated and uh, but the limitation is that in, in the design view they can be manipulated so if you make changes to these uh, it would automatically propagate to uh, all the absolute position elements um, which are there in the page so this basically is an example of how we can use it and regarding absolute position um, so these are some items which are absolutely positioned and the outer container is relative so we can actually use uh, this feature as well so uh, so I guess that's uh, most of it for the demo and um, uh, please give it a, give it a shot and uh, see how this feature might help you uh, create responsive web pages quickly and efficiently and uh, please provide us uh, feedback uh, on the blog this video will be posted on our uh, blogs.adobe.com slash dreamweaver so thank you again for watching and uh, hope you like this feature Thanks.